Welcome back everyone to Let's Play Rule the Waves as the United States, episode number 21. It's been a, a whole week since I recorded my last episode. I went away, out of town, so that's part of the reason why this next episode is a little delayed getting out. <clears throat> anyway, to recap the last episode, we are still at war with Germany. We haven't really had any major battles. We're still pursuing them in Northern Europe with our fleet, but they have not... Uh, well, they haven't given into a big fleet battle yet, so we were, I think we were able to test our lightning class. I actually forget what battles we fought. Anyways, it looks like our Galvestons are starting to go obsolete, which is not amazing timing because we wanted them to, well, I guess we can probably just substitute the Grand Rapids for them. We may, in the end, want to build a new light cruiser class. Um, I have updated the names this is not the list of names as i'm given it it's a google form so i just put that into a google spreadsheet what is that called calc i don't know whatever the excel version um from google is and uh maybe you'll see your name on this list somewhere um anyway this is as of these all being put into this um, notepad which i consider checked off the the main list the google form list We've gotten 140 names. I don't know if we'll go through all of these, but if I do, that means I will have gone through 140 names. And that does not even include the supporters, which was probably maybe another 15 or so. Something insane. <laughs> it's a, uh, yeah. With the limited amount of time I have lately, um, actually keeping up with the ship names uh, can be problematic. But let's look. So what we have Northeast Asia, We don't need our light cruisers there. Wait, are some of our northeast? Yeah, they are. So we will lose all of our light. No, no, no. Yeah, our battleships will actually be gone. So we do need to keep our light cruisers there. Um, we can probably do this piecemeal. Just take two away for now. Do or do not need the ones on the west coast? We actually might. <laughs> we, we don't want to leave it completely empty. Yeah, it, it's basically completely empty. So we'll need to shift something from maybe the Caribbean. Not anything big. Wow, we don't have any cruisers in the Caribbean. So what do we have in the Caribbean? Just two battle cruisers? Yeah. <laughs> okay, that's probably a little bit of an oversight. Do we need all of these? Okay, we'll probably bring back a few of the Grand Rapids to protect west the west coast for now. Um, actually, what we could do is push these back to Northeast Asia. We probably won't need more than three. And then um, all the ones that are currently in Northeast Asia, we'll move them all to the west coast. And that's where they'll, they'll just be rebuilt there directly. We can probably start rebuilding one of them. Yeah, I mean, what do we need to do? We still don't have direct firing on <laughs> our light cruisers. We still don't have better six inch guns. The only thing these are gonna get is increased elevation. Hmm, that's, well, it's not amazing. Oh, these are actually better than I thought because we did put the secondaries the four inch secondaries on because we what we want to do is actually take this away which i guess we'll be able to do this when we rebuild the main guns we'll be able to take that down it's a huge weight savings so anyways we really could use that quality one six inch gun um we might even hold on to the galveston not even upgrade them until we get that although there's a lot of ships that need to be upgraded once we get that quality one six inch gun and probably the Galvestons wouldn't be the priority. Okay, All right. I remember we didn't give money to the army because I never do anymore. I mean, it's on this negotiate base, but their terms, very good. Oh, they sunk the Cushing. Well, a cruiser action. I like the sound of that. Well, maybe. 75 points, battle size medium. This is probably just really light cruisers. But it could be... Oh, it is. Damn. I, 
when I saw two groups, I thought maybe, okay, yeah, maybe this could be Battle Cruiser, but no, it is our Great Lakes class, which is, well, it's our newest class. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Just, I, I thought I knew that, but if we double check, we get seven. Great, so this is a pretty decent class ship. We have a bunch of destroyers. What are you guys? Uh, whoops. Well, this is going to be a really easy battle to manage for our destroyers. They're just going to get the hell out of dodge. This is our invader class. <laughs> They're not supposed to be in... Uh, they're definitely not supposed to be uh, in in the fight. What? Well, they're supposed to be working up. I, I thought they haven't even finished working up yet. Uh, whatever. Well, the, as soon as we spot anything, these guys are gone, gone, gone. So, max speed the heck away right back to Portland. Portland, Maine in this case. And we'll have the San Francisco and the Polish dude from the Revolutionary War. See, I mean, I, I needed to be told once, but at least I'm remembering now. So we'll get these guys to hopefully polish off everything else. <laughs> oh, we need you to go to Squad Max. This uh, German destroyer probably actually thinks it can take us on. And it would, it could probably take on all of our invader classes single-handedly. <laughs> If this ends up being a single destroyer versus all of our ships, uh, well, that would be a pretty disappointing engagement. I'm gonna veer away, torpedoes being something which could definitely do me in. Oh, okay, that was really, really... You didn't see it, but my head just, my chin just hit my chest as my head sank they die first of all let's think about this for a second i have so many minesweepers on coastal patrol anti-submarine warfare in in the east coast let's also consider that i have been sinking a fair number of the German submarines. They have 18? They have 18. I have three ships on patrol for every one submarine, and who knows if even some of these submarines can leave Northern Europe. God, everything about that just rubs me the wrong way, especially because it's a, a huge loss. Uh, just pure frustration. Just pure frustration on that account. Okay, so we'll leave three Galvestons and we'll just... Ah, we can't rebuild, damn it. The stupid six, six inch guns. Uh, okay, well, push on then. Hey! Naval budget expenditing, expenditures increase. Um, please don't let them off that. Yes, good job, Hawk Party. Well, I'm trying to figure out what we should do next. Enemy coastal raid, I dislike. And I need to get my destroyers out of here. So let's decline this. And all you invader classes, hear ye, hear ye. It's time to move out. So I don't care if you're work, working up anymore. I cannot risk another engagement. So please move over to west coast. Make your way over there. Um, we don't have, do they have a, for a second I was wondering if the Germans had something in the Caribbean. But they don't. So we'll get them over to the south, excuse me, Southeast Asia eventually. Let's take a look at the point distributions. So we still have 86 points to their zero or two, whatever you want to call it. I mean, there's two destroyers who are probably on like coastal patrol or something. So they aren't even counting as points. So we have an, an infinity to zero or a 43 to one ratio of forces there. No invasions quite yet. They do have something in Northeast Asia, but we still have them outnumbered, so they can't they can't invade us. And we're on the border of invasion of invading them. Our light cruisers, they have one armored oh, they have an armored cruiser there. That's interesting. <clears throat> they have three light oh one light cruiser there, three points. We're still doing well, so you can see a battle cruiser is worth ten points. 
Um, and they have a sizable force on the East Coast. I'd love to fight that. <clears throat> okay, well, I mean, I could, I could fight fire with fire. It might be time. <laughs> this one reliable, reliability one uh, coastal submarine. My goodness. Because the, the money situation's not a big deal. Okay, so we did get this U-70 class. It will be out. Oh, it's a long ways off. So in two years. <clears throat> what is it that we need next? I think we're going to want the light cruiser. Do we have? Okay, so I think we have double turrets for light cruisers. Do we? We don't. <laughs> That's right. For some uh, strange reason, we have double turrets on destroyers, but not light cruisers. Because that, I mean, I don't think that makes sense. I don't need to say it in a cutesy way. Let's just be honest. It doesn't make any sense. Um, okay. So they're, they sink two ships. We sink three submarines. They should not be doing anything with their submarines in these battles. <sighs> Unexpected battle, so we have to fight this. Okay, that's fine. Just don't put my... Uh, the invaders are gone, at least. Holy cow. Oh, good lord almighty. I mean, this is... Uh, the whole fleet's here. The whole gang. Now, this is interesting. I can definitely get behind this kind of engagement. As I know, several people would like to remind me. Check the time. 3 o'clock in the afternoon, 3.30. So we have a little bit of time left before nightfall, but it is coming. So probably we have to close quickly with our battle cruisers. I see that we have two pairs. We have two lightning classes. And all the lightning classes are here. Oh, well, that's quite nice. It's probably our best ship right now. Okay, well, let's see what we run into. There it is. Unknown ships. What in God's name? Oh! Do we have control of you? We do! Okay, great. Um, it's nice that the Great Lakes has replaced the, what was it, the San Francisco that we lost <laughs> to that very bizarre submarine torpedoing event. I, I would dispute. I will still dispute. Okay, so let's take a bunch of people off AI control. You are AI control? Yes. Okay. Most of them are not. Um, let's go to like 25. Something like not too extreme, but start gearing ourselves up. Where? Are, what are you guys scouting for? Oh, you guys are actually scouting for the main division. Wow. <laughs> Okay, we'll scout, but you're gonna scout in line ahead. I don't even know if that's a, a valid choice for a scout, um, a valid formation. And you guys are gonna lumber on in as fast as you can. Well, as fast as you can, minus one, I should say. The destroyer group, what are you guys? Oh, you are, you're going in. You guys are going in hot, very quick. Get on in there. I think you're actually coal firing. I mean, engines. We'll find out. Okay, so yeah, we'll get them in there. We'll leave the destroyer, the cruiser. I think this is a cruiser right here. It is. Okay, more Great Lakes. Um, we'll leave those behind. Oh, okay, good. I can control them. Good. So um, I'll put them to, you know, 20 or so, move them at a slightly different angle so that we can separate forces. All right, and let's see what we have here. I don't really care if we lose the convoy, that's just victory points. Losing any kind of ships, any warships, those are, as I always mention, I'm sure people are sick of hearing it, those are battle losses. Those are losses that we um, we feel for the rest of the game. So, 
Are you guys also New Haven? No, you guys are Cunningham. I'm going to leave the Cunningham in reserve. They'll be my second wave after, uh, you know, <laughs> my New Havens go in there and get themselves killed. We'll have wave two. And hopefully by that time, the uh, enemy ships will be more depleted on ammo, you know, more leery of bigger targets. Who knows? We definitely would like to uh, spare those. Oh, we've got a battle cruiser. Well, that's just great. Ho hum, ho hum, ho hum. We actually need to maintain contact because, well, what if we want to engage? And you are, okay, Cunningham classes as well. Yes, yeah, so we don't want to throw you to your death. You guys are also Cunningham classes. Well, darn it. Darn it if they didn't give me the, the wrong ordering. This is a Benny class. God knows what they're doing here. I thought the Benny class were all in... No, I, I actually don't know where I put them, so... Yeah, maybe they, maybe they are in the East Coast. Okay, all right, pursue it. Squad max, pursue. We will need to know where we're going. And we will pursue. Okay, they're turning back. Dangerous times for the Great Lakes. I can tell you. A couple hits from this battleship and it doesn't matter. If you're trying to scout from a distance or not, you'll probably end up sleeping with the fishes. All right, that's a pause. I meant to, I mean, I didn't mean to, I did hit spacebar, but that's a common problem in this game, or I don't know, interface issue, I suppose I should say. It doesn't always pause right when you say. All right, let's get these guys off AI control just because it drives me a little bit bonkers the way they do things. Just zigzagging back and forth, trying to get back into their formation that they think they need. Um, you guys are doing line ahead, so I don't actually see the line ahead happening, but... Wait. Ah, there's a Chickamauga somewhere. Where are you, Chickamauga? Chickamauga. Ch oh, wow. Way back there. Okay. I see ya. Great Lakes. Good. And we do want to, maybe we can even just lure them back. Although the placa, yeah, they're in range, okay. So they, they see us, let's just get the battle line forming. Rear group goes to squad max, second group will soon. Destroyers are gonna take up the rear position along this battle line. Okay, we know what it is, it's an LSAS class. This is, <laughs> I pity the fool. <laughs> well, that's what they get for bringing in a, um, this is all, is this even, is it like a semi-dread? I don't know, it's, I have a class like this, so, you know. But that's worth as many points, strategically, not victory point-wise, but strategic points-wise, it's worth as much as any other dreadnought, so. So we must sink it, and sink it, I think we will. Yes, those guys go in, you guys stay, keep your distance. And what are you? You guys are all Cunningham. Oh, wait. No, I missed this one. Not a group of Cunningham. So you guys will be actual wave two. Okay. Oh, wow. Fantastic. The Elsass already taken some hits. A pot shot from the Plotka and a pot shot from the Lightning. We'll keep them on that course then. Let me take you guys off AI control, just because. Oh, nice. Another hit. Another hit. Yeah, this might already be over. Look, I mean, I'm counting my, sh my uh, chickens before they hatch, thinking that a couple of 14-inch hits is gonna sink a, a dreadnought, but the fact that we're landing shots already, in fact, they're not even in range. Their turrets are not even in range, and we're we're sitting we're pelting them with uh, some pretty heavy ordnance from a distance. I mean, that's I'm quite happy to see that. Okay, and you guys come in a little bit more like that. Okay, and we can obviously overtake them. Twenty knots versus twenty-eight. 
So we'll get you guys to go squad max. Maybe you'll get involved, maybe not. But it won't be the first time, or I'm, I mean, we've already had the Philippines class involved. So this will be the, the Lightning's Day, although I guess the Lightning has also had a tour of duty already. You would say that it doesn't look good for the Celsius class. I would be so frustrated if this battle was in the reverse, giving them one Dreadnought. Well, okay. If they only had this one Dreadnought in here, then... I don't know, it's a little bit more understandable. They move this Dreadnought into my C-Zone. I wouldn't move a... I don't know, I... Yeah, I guess you can't really complain about this situation. Well, if I was on the other side, I probably would complain, but I w it wouldn't be justified. Let's put it that way. Wait. Oh, Cummings, not Cunningham. Yeah, you guys are just about to make your turn in. Let's go ahead and do it. We actually want these uh, light cruisers to go squad max down so we can start preparing to sink the destroyer too. Why? Let's not let anyone get away, right? Okay, making our move. This thing's already heavy damage, so we'll be lucky to kill this destroyer in time. But we'll definitely try. Let's slow you down to 24. You guys are Cunningham, so you guys will lay back a little bit more. Uh, okay, here we go. I'm not too concerned about losing the New Havens. They're about to have some fun anyway. So we'll... Yeah, I guess we'll do something like this and then this. And you guys aren't even going to get into the battle in time, unfortunately, but that's fine. Okay, and preparing to launch our broadside. Wow, there I didn't even have to tell them. Hit by two, that's great, so that's a sinking ship. And we're also doing a great amount of damage to the V1. So this is perfect, just in time for nightfall, we'll have both of these ships sunk. And another, there it is, okay, good. So really no damage at all. <laughs> um, that was a pretty devastating um, battle for them. VPs reduced by 20% thanks to captain's mode, but I think it's well worth it. 3,000. That's really not something we want to glory. We, we don't want to like bask in the glory of a, a battle, which, you know, there's almost no way we could have lost that. We really would have had to try. Now, what about these invader classes? They're still moving. Okay, good. Now, we have a lot of different destroyers, as we just noticed. Yeah, what the heck? How is there a Benny class? I don't know, maybe... The, <laughs> I think the, it's the same game I've always played, Rule the Waves, but the longer you play it, the more you see the little bugs here and there. Um, Yeah, that is very strange. I don't know how we had a Benny class in that fight. <laughs> well, the invaders are gone, so that, that was the main thing. I, gosh, I don't know. 1916, it's almost time to revamp the Kingfishers as well. Uh, yeah, I think I'm just going to be okay with it, whatever it is for now. Hopefully we can get this research in quality 1 6 inch guns. Wish there was a way to prioritize it. Like, for love of all of this good, we have quality 1 in everything up to 9, except for 6, the one we use the most. It's a very, I, I don't know, it's hard to explain that to me from a realism standpoint. If you were focused on getting better guns and everything but the gun you actually use, it seems like a very unusual, slightly improbable situation. 
Okay, there it is. Quadruple turrets are better. Yay. That's actually quite good. Enemy coaster. I have to climb that. Don't really want to do coastal raids. I mean, they had their chance, right? I just want to invade. And I don't know why we can't invade. 87 to 6. Still way more than the 3 to 1 we need. 24 to 17. Okay, they're holding nicely there. All our destroyers are showing up. I'm just going to shove them all in. We're just going to do it. It's going to be ugly, but that's what they're here for, right? <laughs> so, I wonder if I should move some of them to Northeast Asia? And maybe a bunch of them... 41 of them will actually keep moving to Southeast Asia. Yeah, I'll do it this way. So a bunch are going to stay in Northeast Asia. I don't want them to get into fights. Southeast Asia hasn't had any fights anyway, but we'll see. We'll probably end up having to get in. The, they'll probably get in a fight. <laughs> okay, reduces the penalty for more than one ship firing at the same target. I thought we already had that. Oh, everything. Oh, of course, where all my invaders are. Convoy defense. No, thank you. Better torpedoes. Um, France. No, Russia. Yeah, we're okay. We'll raise the tension. Okay, this is interesting. I don't know if we want to intercept what might be a battle cruiser. And it's morning, and this is a Grand Rapids, so it means it's not quick. Well, this could be this could be real trouble. Oh yeah, the Grand Rapids did get the top-mounted torpedoes at least. So if this is a light cruiser, we win. If it's a battle cruiser, we lose. Just that simple. It turned very quick. Well. It turned very quickly because it's amazing at turning for some reason, but like I can't believe it even. Oh well, we're not gonna risk it. It would literally be the probably the point swing needed to uh, to get us start losing overall. So whatever. Sail away, sail away, sail away. No, is not you know. Not what I wanted to have happen with the Grand Rapids after their refit. It's really hopeful that they would be like some devastating force on the water, but yeah, against Battle Cruiser, I don't think we're gonna stand much of a chance. It was a light cruiser. Well, you know what? You had <laughs> Is there I mean it could have been an armored cruiser. I was trying to think, is there is there an intermediate step between light cruiser and battle cruiser? That's a pretty big Actually, I want to see that thing again. I'd actually want to see what kind of battle cruiser it was. Oh, wait, maybe. I mean, light cruiser. Can I see the, what the class it is? Yeah. 4,300. You mistook a 4,300 ton. I was thinking maybe it's like a 7,000, 8,000 8, ton light cruiser. Wow, some grave... I should have trusted the turning ratio um, interpretation as a light cruiser, but I didn't. It's a pretty bad misidentification, 4,300 ton ship. It's at a distance, but geez, I mean. <laughs> Ooh, awesome. This will probably be the last battle we fight. I'll call this one to a close a little bit earlier, just to get it out there. And it's actually quite late. I'm just trying to cram this in to a, a pretty busy week. Anyways, our Hornet. Still a great ship. Got improved director, good crew quality. Don't have uh, quality one 14 inch guns yet, but okay. Squad max. Their invisibility, we have the wind side. Let's just get to it. Okay, hurry up and identify. Okay, it's a light cruiser, so this will be over pretty quickly. I think. 
Yeah. Well, it's uh, not really a fun engagement, but it will be victory points. Scoring a few hits there, here and there. What's the Lubex speed mainly? Oh, well, 25. I don't know what it was at first because it does adjust that for its actual speed. And it's probably going to be going well, a lot slower. Oh, 25. Maybe it is a 25 speed ship. That's a lot of hits. Yeah, 25. So, wait, is it? Did I read that 3,800? Wow. Germans have some very light, light cruisers. And that should probably be the last time we have to pause. There it is. Okay, good. So that was nice. That makes up for our not sinking the other light cruiser. Kind of. <laughs> Maybe. Uh, one more turn. 31 minutes. Okay, let's do one more. <gasps> Finally! Finally, now we're going to get some battles. With regards, and we got double gun mounts on CLs. Okay, this is a, and we got 17 inch guns. Whoa, huge, and a cruiser action. We do want to accept this, and they declined. Actually, unexpected battle coastal raid. What do we have? Please not the, please not the invaders. Send all the invaders away. Yeah, we got some invaders here. <laughs> Luckily enough, we have our. Uh, von Steuben's here, which I actually have no idea what we're up against. This could be really problematic. We do have just the Wasp. She's probably our best ship. I mean, in, at least in these waters. And then what? The Stevens. Yeah, more invaders. We'll have to get all those guys out of here. We have the Decatur, which is a Grand Rapids, I hope. She is. Okay, so we'll be utilizing her. Um, I'm going to start this battle, but Honestly, we um, we may not finish it. I might have to call this to a close and do a two-parter, which is nobody's favorite thing. Not even mine. I don't know if you believe it or not. You probably think I really look forward to those cliffhangers, but I, I don't because then I have to try to remember what I was doing. <laughs> um, this is a coastal raid? Oh, okay. So actually... I'm not waiting to run into a ship. I just, I already, I already need to start controlling my ships. Okay, well, this is, this is kind of good. We're gonna get all of these invader classes sent back to the nearest port, which all of them are German. That's, uh, that's not good. Just send them this way. You go that way. Oh, another Grand Rapid, which is good. And looks like some other stuff. Uh, some other useless stuff. Let's get you guys. I don't care what formation you take, really. Just get out of here. Okay, you as well. Okay, we actually have some decent destroyers. That's nice to see. And then support, line ahead. Good. We have... Ah, oh, wait, we got some good ships. I'm very happy. And some more not so good ships. And you guys get out of here. Okay, good. So let's see what we encounter. I mean, I, I suppose we should be encountering something. Probably we'll encounter it down here in the to the south. It's a lot of ports. <laughs> and the Sullivan is going to be taken off her AI control. Lots of things having low fuel, which, I, like I said, I've never run out of fuel, so it's not an issue. Not something I'm concerning myself with. Um, this kind of looks a little messy. What do we have going on here? Okay, probably this is the shift of formation taking, taking place. These ships are coal, so... Oh, they still have 20 as a speed. That's not bad. So once the destroyers all get themselves lost <laughs> away from this battle, we'll be able to... Uh, hopefully we run into something, too. I mean, this is a coastal raid. Uh, this is part of the reason why I hate them. You can go the whole 
Coastal Raid without finding an enemy. It's not a guarantee that you find them. I think we might have to do... Uh, I don't want to do this, and I'll definitely leave with my light cruiser. But I think we're going to have to do a circle around this island, which will put us dangerously close to that port. I'm a little worried about mines. Oh, boy. Whoops. What are you? There, no, Lester, okay. But the fact that they had us leading towards that means that there probably is something up here. Maybe it's just a coastal fortification, but we'll take the victory points. We, we want this to be a win. We want this uh, engagement to be... A, a victory of some kind. Okay, there it is. Unknown ship sighted. Probably not. This is probably a destroyer. She's going away. We'll pull back in hopes that she gets lured out. They might all just be going right into port. And if that happens, it's a draw. I don't think we get any credit for that. Maybe we can sink a, a like some kind of transport hanging around the harbor. Oh, good, we are drawing them out. So let's go squad max with the wasp. Start bringing her up to speed. Have the decatur continue to lead her out. They're turning around, but maybe they still don't know better. Let's try to get the wasp right up along the coast so we can pivot in at an angle, which hopefully, I don't know, gets a few shots off, at least if we're lucky. Uh, yeah, I can imagine this being uh, a worthless fight or an unproductive or uneventful patrol. I have the wasp bleeding, which I didn't want because of, you know, avoiding mines and all that, but did they already all go home? Maybe. Oh, yeah, so they're just hanging out in the harbor. Can't really do anything about it. I mean, we are shooting at this ship, whatever it is. Looks like a AMC or a transport. I hate it. I just need one hit. I mean, I need one hit, and then I can go home in peace. All right, we'll have these uh, the Lake Erie with her companion of destroyers scout the south side. Well, this guy scout off to the west. Oh, interesting. This is uh, something that will not easily be able to escape. And the time is midday, so yeah, they are good. Okay, destroyer. So this is a minesweeper. <laughs> so what's worse? <laughs> okay, it's fine. It's points. Points are points. Oh, yeah, and the, these are definitely, it turns out, definitely coal firing. Okay, we finally sink that minesweeper. I assume even one hit is not, oh, yeah. Well, we were using our six inch guns, but I'm sure that that's the end of her. Okay, hold fire now for 10 minutes. We already sank her. Aha, aha. Okay, this is good. Ah, uh, transport. Back down to cruise. Lake Erie and companions can sink that easily enough. What do we have here? Is this a... I mean, what are you guys doing? First of all, your formation is horrible. Oh, what the heck? Tucker, I mean, God's... Where, where do you belong? Who... What are you doing? What the heck? What the heck? Ugh, so weird. Is he turning? Okay, let's, uh, whatever this formation is, let's change it. To line ahead. Is that gonna work? Oh, it did. Okay, that is so bizarre. 
like I said, the more you play this game, the more cracks you see in the game itself. So this is a, an easy kill. That was an easy kill. We'll just keep patrolling the outside. Crew band ships, good. So we actually probably have a, a minimum number of ships we're supposed to sink for this to be like a, a real victory. So we'll try to scour the coastline here and see if we can pick up a few more. Okay. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Unknown ship. Oh, okay. All right. Okay, yeah, this is good. Squad max. Ooh, it's a battle cruiser. We'll get your butt down here, wasp. Got something better for you. Lake Erie has struck a mine. Good to know that that's where that is. Enterprises. You're probably dead, right? Maybe not. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, it's, it's all of them. Okay, yeah. We need to get going quick. We need everybody report battle stations, whatever, blah, blah, blah. Probably pull away and hope that our wasp can join. So you guys are now... Please don't also run into a mine. You guys are now being detached. Okay, fine. Go down here just to avoid that. Squad max. Back up this way. In 41 minutes. Yes. So we'll call this episode to a close here. <laughs> Cliffhanger. I'm sorry. <laughs> anyway, uh, let's hope that we can turn this one around, or maybe we just leave having sunk two ships, and hopefully that's enough to, to be a victory. But I'll figure that out in the next episode. So until then, thanks for watching, and take care.